everyone. Welcome to Sugar Lighter Diaries. I'm Kimberly and this is my husband, Michael. I asked him to join me for this video because I thought this would make it a fun way so that even if you know all of these terms for all these toys and you know what basic toys everybody should have in their cage or what goals are to have in your cage, it will be fun because he doesn't know what the terms are. So what I'm gonna do is uh, before I explain what the toy is, I'm going to show him and he's going to tell me what he thinks that toy should be called. So that'll it'll just be a fun way to, to introduce those names to you guys. And for those of you who are new to Sugar Glider Toys and you might not know what the terminology is, this will be a fun way for us to all learn together. Plus, he's not used to handling the gliders and I'm going to randomly put gliders on him during this video. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Before we get started, you will definitely need at least two different sleeping pouches. You wanna make sure you get them from approved vendors. I will have a list of vendors that I trust and approve of in the description box, so I won't spend a ton of time on that, but you need two pouches. Do not buy them off of Amazon. Do not buy them off of Exotic Nutrition. They need to be sewn exactly the way that, there's a certain way that's safe. I'll just say that. And you need to have a glider safe wheel. Also, I do not recommend getting the one off of Exotic Nutrition. There's argument back and forth on whether it's safe or not. Either way, it's not ideal. There's better wheels out there and I just think you should support those companies. So I will put those in the description box as well. And a wheel is a necessity in a cage. It's not a perk. It's not a toy. It is a requirement for any sugar glider cage. First thing is this. What is this called? It's a runabout. It is not a runabout. Oh shoot, okay, um, yes. I know what the runabout is, that's something totally different. Also cool. Yes, that's not a really a toy for the cage, that's a different video, so yeah. yeah. Um, it's a roly-poly A roly-poly <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I love it. <laughs> You're so cute. This is a glider go-round. This is made by Tina from Sarcastic Diva Designs. This is very similar to a treadmill. A treadmill would also be a great addition to a cage. This does not replace a wheel. It is a extra toy for the cage, not in place of a wheel. <laughs> the difference between the roly poly oly doly, <laughs> no, the glider go round, and the treadmill is the treadmill sits lower and it doesn't have as much clearance. Not necessarily unsafe, but I just prefer this layout better. Plus I know Tina kind of through Facebook and I like her and I want to support her. So this is a roly poly oly doly. <laughs> the links in the description box will be there for the glider go round. No, oh, no, it's the <laughs> little turkey that eats everything. It's the Balky boy. Hi Balky boy. It's time to daddy, he's totally gonna pee on you. Probably. I'm gonna pee on you because you're mine. Oh, they're all great. Oh, he's being very sweet to you. Oh, he's a cool little boy. Pika, she and I butt heads a lot. Yeah, you did good. All right. Balky did good, good job. Okay, let's do another toy. What is this type of toy called that has chains with bracelets or something else that go through something that they can bring into their pouch? It's a pulley doily. A pulley doily? Yeah. These are little pole chains and they can, they hook their tails on here and their tail carriers and they go wee and yeah. they, they put it in their pouch. They do. I've never heard them go wee, but that's what I imagine they do. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. This is a, do you say a pulley doily? I call it a pulley doily. <laughs> it is a pulley toy. So yes. that's, I mean, that's pretty good. Yes. I say you get a point for that. Yes. Very good. Yeah, Belky, put it there, buddy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is a pulley toy. This also has some foraging uh, items on here, but this would be considered a pulley toy. So every cage needs at least one pulley toy, in my opinion, because you never know if you're gonna have a tail carrier or if they're going to learn how to be a tail carrier later. And this is just a fun way, like even if you see that it's like that in the morning, then you know that your glider was playing with it, which is just a fun way to see evidence of play. A lot of the vendors that I have in the description box make all of these types of toys. And I also have some tutorials on how to make some of these toys. So I will put links to the vendors and links to my past videos that teach you how to make some of these toys yourself if you wanna do a DIY. 
This one that I just showed you, that pulley toy, I made myself. I made it all by myself. Okay, let's see, what about? What you got, girl, what you got? This one. <laughs> That's a hoop to whirl A hoop to whirl That's your final answer? <laughs> <laughs> it's a hoop to whirly whirl I'm trying to give you a hint by what I'm doing with it. Spinster. <laughs> Spinster. Oh my gosh, I love you. Go around. This is a swing. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> This is swing. This is swing. I'm thinking of a spin windle windler with the foraging <laughs> cups in the middle, like the cherry on the top. Well, this does have foraging cups, so obviously this would be a multi-purpose as well, but this is a swing. So a swing is anything that hangs, and then when they climb, when they jump on it, it swings. So swings are fun. Swings are good. It's time for another glider to be on you, I think. Yes. You want Pika de Gallo? Yeah, give me the Pixies. See, Pika in the morning before I go to work, which is super early, it's I give them little treats. And for some reason, Pika is the only one that she always snags me with her little hand. And so I take the treat and I go back and forth between the bars, back and forth, back and forth. That way, like, I think it wears her down and then she just grabs it. Well, lately she'll reach out and grab it, but then as she grabs it with her mouth, she does one last swing with her hand and smacks me in the hand. She's like, I gotcha. She totally pooped on you. Good job, Pika. Pika. And a nice girly, but she didn't bite you. Hey, sweeties. A poopy here. But she's still a sweet little thing. Look at that dear little face. She has a little mouse face. Cool. No pee yet. Great. Hey, Steely Boo. I know, I'm saving her. <laughs> what would this be called? It's not a ball pit, but it's a toy box. It is a toy box. Really? Yeah. Sweet. Woohoo! So a toy box is just that. It's sometimes it can be on the bottom of the cage, just like this one, or it could be something that's hanging and you have multiple different things in here. Some gliders will take it and bring it back to the cage. Some gliders will just root around in there. You can hide treats in here that they have to kind of dig and, and feel for. You could mix some, you know, foraging treat boxes or something in here as well. In this toy box, we have like some googly eyes. Some gliders like to pluck the googly eyes out. There has been an instance where one glider, actually, it's, this is kind of sad. One glider plucked these out and then they choked on the on the black part. Ugh. My gliders have don't really pull the eyes out very much and they're not big chewers, so I'm not super worried about that, but that's just, I'll just say that. Uh, I, I like to put just little figurines in there, little, these little frogs, these little bouncy frogs. You could also do a toy box that's full of like pom-poms, like a pom-pom pit. I have another video on how to make fleece pom-poms. You don't want to buy the pom-poms from the dollar store because some gliders will rip those apart and ingest the fibers from that and that can be dangerous. So it's recommended to use fleece pom-poms. I'll include, so you could do a toy box just full of pom-poms and I have like a pom-pom pit in the glider cage right now. But toy box, pom-pom pit, Something like that is a uh, recommendation to have in a cage. You can get most of these things at the, like the dollar store. What next, what next? What ne would that be next? This. What would something like this be called? This would be called the Tower of Power. <laughs> it's like the, they fight to get to the top and whoever's at the very top is like the king of the mountain and they just shove each other off and yeah. the Tower of Power. Sure, um, or a floor toy. Hey, that's even better. So a floor toy <laughs> is just something that you would put in the floor or the base of the cage that they could explore, like a dollhouse or a little tree house or something like this. I have a whole other video on toy safety. There's very, very specific things you need to look out for for a floor toy, but great things about the floor toy is that you can buy these for like three bucks at a thrift store. You don't need to buy them brand new. And there's quite a few different safety things and precautions you need to take. So make sure you watch that video before you go buy your own floor toy. But this can be a nice inexpensive way to give your gliders a lot of stimulation in the cage. They love to go in and out of all these different little areas. I have four floor toys myself, so. And you modify these too, don't you? I, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm going to be modifying this one. So I'll make a video about that. Is it time for the Steli Eli? <laughs> you want the Steli Eli? Steli Willy Willy. Okay. The only reason why I use this, I totally could pick her up 
um, without this, but it just makes the rest of them not be nervous when I reach my hand in there. And it's, yeah, I just, I like it. It makes me less nervous. It makes them less nervous. If they wanted to bite through it, they absolutely could. It's not a protection from a bite. It's just to make everybody more comfortable. But I can reach in and grab Stella with my, with my bare hand, no problem. It's Hi, daddy. Sweetie. Hi. It's a daddy. Hi, sweet baby. She's such a sweetie. She could just sit here and just dump on me all day, nonstop, and I wouldn't even care. Even if it was my favorite shirt, yeah. it would be okay because oh. Stelly is just the sweetest little thing. So what would this type of toy be called? Something that they can go in would be called a... That's a glider hideout. The glider hide. Yeah, it's called a hide. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, so any any toy that's made to where the glider has a little spot to go in and eat a treat or groom or whatever, that's called a hide. This one specifically is made out of cork bark, which cork bark is great for gliders that like to chew. Most gliders aren't really chewers, but if you have a glider that's a chewer, uh, a, a cork bark toy is great. You can also take pieces of the cork bark and put it in their sleeping pouch. But a, but this is just, I'm just using this as an example of a hide. This hide specifically was made by the Shuggy Flower Fairy. I'll put a link in the description box for her. Uh, it's really, really pretty. This was a gift from her. You like that hide? You won't go in there? No? You'll be famous? You'll be famous, girl. <laughs> what about this right here? What would this be called? Oh. That would be called the fleece vine. It is a fleece vine. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It specifically is a fleece reset vine. And so it would be classified as either a vine, which I'll give you that for sure, yeah. or a reset toy. So a reset toy is anything that the gliders can reset. So one example of a simple, cheap, inexpensive reset toy would be, if you get these little like monkeys in a barrel. Oh, look, she came to me. <gasps> she did. Oh, what a, oh, she came on you to poop on you. That's my girl. <laughs> yeah, what a sweet baby. So one thing you can do with a reset toy is you can hang these little monkeys in a barrel in the cage. And then you can hang a bracelet like this off of the end. Or you can hang a... Little, these little googly eyes off the end. So you could hang something like this in the cage and then they bump into this and they knock it off. And it's, so then in the morning you reset it. I mean, that's the idea of a reset. The reason why that vine is a reset is because these pieces, these fleece pieces pull out. So if you have gliders that are destructive, that, that get stimulated by doing that, this is a great toy for them. Another simple version of a reset would be if you had these little, oh, she came to you again. What a big day in the neighborhood. If you have these little C links, so you have a C link like this, and then you just twist it like this. And now you can hang that on the side of the cage with like a bracelet, and that would be a reset. So anything that they can distract and then you have to put it to back together in the morning is considered a reset. Another version of a reset is actually my glider's favorite thing, which are these little plastic pieces. These are actually little bracelets, but they don't actually have any jelly or any liquid inside. They're, they're a plastic that's a bendable plastic, but it's not soft like they would uh, be able to tear it off and eat pieces of it or anything. You can also buy these pieces from Jessica's Attic. I'll put a link in the description box for her. I can't remember what they're called, but they come in like long ropes and then you just cut them into pieces. And I'll show you what I do in their cage. And then they take them and they nest with them. They bring them back into their cage. I have tail carriers and I have these are in their cage almost every morning after I've put these. And so these would be considered a reset and a nesting type toy. Let me show you what I do with their cage. So if you're gonna get the bracelets, make sure that when you cut them that nothing comes out and it's a hard plastic, not a super soft stretchy. It's not stretchy at all. 
and but these are these are great you can get these at, for, for little kids and all i do is i just put the hang them on the side of the cage bars like that and then they pull them off and they bring them into their sleeping pouch so that's a must have i think for my gliders anyway and it's super inexpensive and super fun and stimulating for them each glider has different personalities, so that's why I recommend having one version of each of these things in your glider's cage because you never know what they're going to be most interested in. And foraging toys. So foraging is anything that you can hide treats in. So like this pulley toy has a foraging cup in there. I have charms kind of hiding the opening so it makes it a little bit more challenging for them to get in. But any item that you can hide treats in is considered a foraging toy. So a lot of these have foraging things but this reset vine actually is also a foraging toy because you can take little treats and you can hide them in the folds of the the uh, little leaves of the, of the vine so foraging toys are a must in any cage as well another super simple example of foraging toys are these little tooth saver necklaces I'll put an, a link to Amazon. These are so fun, so small, so easy. You fill, put one little treat in there, put it in their toy box, and they have so much fun. I also love doing these little Easter eggs. I drill a couple holes in there, and you want them to be about the size of your pinky, like the, the top of your pinky, the hole should be about that size. And then you shove, shove, you shove wacky whirly straws in here if you want, which just gives it a little extra challenge for them to pull that out before they get the treat. There's also these little treasure chests that you can get from Jessica's Attic. Link in the description box. There's also little, you can just do like a little forage, like a little click on container. If you put a little butterfly or something with a zip tie on there, that makes it a little bit easier for them to get a grip on that. So I, when I have a free time, I just fill up a bunch of these foraging things, put them in this bucket, and then I'll put maybe just one or two foraging things a night in their cage. And that's just a really fun stimulation for them. I like to make it challenging for them to get their treats. This would be another example of a, a vine. So a vine is just anything that hangs like this or like this that they can climb on. I have videos on how to make no-so vines. This one has been sewn by a vendor, uh, but yeah, that's it. That's all the terminology. It's also important to have a large variety of toys. Gliders are like toddlers, so they get bored with things. So swapping them out is a, a huge bonus in the enrichment. If you don't have the funds to buy a huge variety, what I would do is move the placement of them around in the cage every couple days or take uh, a couple of them out for a couple days and then put them back in. Uh, anything that is quote unquote new, whether it actually is new or not, uh, will be stimulating for them because they'll want to check it out and mark it and it's just a fun uh, stimulation for them. All right, well, that's all we have for you. So that's, those are all the basics that you need in any sugar glider cage. That's all the toy terminology you'll need as you're searching and, and wanting to make sure you have everything that a glider needs in their cage as you're getting started. Thank you for watching. Thank you, babe, for participating. Yeah. That was really fun. I think my favorite one was the was the roly poly oly doly. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Bye. See you guys. Do you look like a news anchor? I'm Harvey Johnson, and this is Dateline. <laughs> Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I think you were gonna say your name and I yeah, cut you off. It's okay. Okay. He's not used to handling the gliders and I'm gonna randomly put gliders on him during this video. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I said, are you okay with this shirt getting pooped and peed on? No, oh, I thought you were gonna poop and pee on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh. This is taking a turn already. So this is actually called a runabout. It is similar to a treadmill. Wait, what did I say? You said a roly poly oly. No, before that though. A runabout. What did you say it was? Glider go round. Dang it, they're so close. Did I, did I say a glider go round or did I say a runabout? You said runabout. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs>
That's a roly poly only door. Okay, this is. <laughs> the difference between the treadmill and the runabout is the runabout. Just said runabout again. Oh, sorry, I ruined you. <laughs> Call the roly poly only dolly. <laughs> I have no place teaching people if I can't even get the first name of the first toy correctly. Let's distract people from my incompetence by putting a sugar glider on you. What? Yeah, that'll be fun. And I'm not gonna give you Stella, cause that would be too easy. Dang it, Stella's like, I have a really <laughs> big pay, honey. He didn't actually. I'm just, he's saving up for later. He probably is. Uh, have, blah, blah, blah. Don't look at my list. Oh, okay. You did sweet girl, huh? Yeah. Okay. You're distracting me with your cuteness. You go back to daddy? No. The heck no, I ain't going back to that freak. And she did pee all over you and you did just fine. Yeah. Pee all Oh yeah, see? It's on my pants too. It's on your pants too. It's actually quite refreshing. <laughs> Good thing it was Stella. 